In Max Design 2011, we now have the ability to link FBX format files created in Autodesk's Revit suite of applications. This means we can work in Max on our visualization scene, making any refinements we need to the Revit model itself, whilst the design is still being developed inside of Revit. We can then reload the updated FBX file, and it will retain any of the refinements that we've made inside of Max and minimize the need to reapply any materials or redo any of the animations in there. So to do this, we come down to our references and use the file link manager and just browse for the FBX file that we want to link in. We have some presets that will uh, allow us to combine the Revit model in different ways. And for us, we're just going to combine it by materials that are applied inside of Revit. So once we've chosen Attach, it will come and import the actual Revit model itself. It will take a few seconds whilst it generates the uh, objects. But once that's brought it all in, we'll see that not only do we get the actual model itself, but we'll also get a few extra things like the daylight systems and the cameras that have also been set up inside of Revit. So we can zoom into our model and see that it's brought it all across for us. We can also see the objects that we've got inside of Max now, and we can see that they're all done by material as we did indeed specify. So we can start to make our alterations, our refinements that we need for this file. And we'll go to our material editor and just start to swap out some of the materials. So we can replace the glass inside of that comes inside of Revit with a an arch design one from Max. And we've also got some of the framing materials that we can update as well. Some different ones too. We've got some roofing materials that we can swap out. And finally the uh, lower wall that we can change to. So we've also got some scenery in this file so we're just going to unhide that and just hide the little ground plane that came with it from Revit. So We've got a camera already set up too, so we'll start to have a look through that one. So we've got our, our rendering view set. And we're about ready to start rendering, so we can click go on there. And we can see that rendering appears pretty quickly with our new materials on. So whilst that's rendering, we'll come back to Revit and see what changes have been made. So. Inside of Revit now we can see we've got some solar shading added around the curtain wall in here. We've got a few alterations to these, some entrance doors up here. And we've got some extra mullions in our glazing on our little tower here. So we just come down, export out an FBX file. Now we could overwrite the one that we've already got there or we can keep it with a, its own name so that we can record a history of the, the different sort of export that we've got from Revit. But we just export that out. It takes a second or two and then we can swap back to Max. So our rendering's finished. We're pretty happy with that. We just need to load in our latest Revit model. So we come back to our file link manager. Find the actual Revit FBX file in the files table here. And now we're just going to go and browse to our updated version of that. So we get the little red flag that tells us that we need to upload it. And when we hit reload, two important checkboxes there. We just want to keep our scene materials. So that goes through it. It compares the existing FBX model in, inside of Max with the one that we're re-importing. And it will keep any changes, alterations to materials, but also it will bring in any new objects that we've got in that FBX file. And we can see in the background there straight away that we've now got our solar shading, our updated doors and our extra mullions in here. We, we don't need to do anything else. We can literally re-render straight away. And we'll see that that gives us our new model with our refined design 
without us having to reapply any materials almost instantly just need to wait for it to re-render so I think in total we can see that this will allow us to start to create our visualizations at a much earlier stage we can do this throughout the entire design process and it would just be a much more efficient workflow meaning that we can create more visualizations and uh, validate our design much earlier on as we're going through the actual design process.